you got it, girl, you got it. heart challenge good morning it's thursday it's week seven i'm feeling great i just went to the housing office to sign my lease or like renew my lease for this place this is gonna be my third year in this apartment starting next month which is crazy it's definitely like my favorite apartment out of all the apartments i lived in in new york city i lived in manhattan and then i moved here to Queens and I love Queens I feel like I want to be a Queens girly until like I buy a home I really love Queens I love how I'm close to both airports you know even though I haven't even been traveling as much as I really want to but next year God willing we are gonna be globe trotting but yeah y'all tell me why I went to the housing office and I had to bring in an additional security deposit because my rent is going up <sighs> hashtag the struggle of living in New York City literally your rent will increase every year um, but yeah I went I bring in my money order and the girl was like okay thank you and I'm like can I have a receipt please <laughs> and then she's like oh okay like do you really think I'm about to leave this office without a receipt girl especially because I deal with so much incompetence when it comes to that housing office like I love my apartment I'm grateful for it I thank God for it every day if y'all have seen my older videos you know that I used to live in the smallest shoe boxes ever. I had no closet space. It was just tiny, tiny, tiny. Literally, it was so tiny. I had to give my mom my suitcases to store at her place because they wouldn't even fit in my place because my closets were like, it was, it shouldn't even have been considered a closet. Like, it was like a little sliver of a thing. Anyways, I love how spacious this place is. I love my neighborhood, how quiet the area is. Very family friendly. I've met so many cool, like, neighbors and stuff, which in my other neighborhood, I never made friends there. I just kind of didn't want to. But here, like, it's super communal, you know? I have my little garden club, I guess, for lack of a better word. Like, I just really love this apartment, but the housing people, they're not, like, the greatest. Regardless, I signed my lease for another year. I don't want to leave this place until I buy a home because I feel like I'm not going to get as much space as I get here in any other spot. Like, I literally have, like, six gigantic closets here, and I really love that for me. But anyways, y'all, let me stop yapping about my apartment. Uh, welcome to week seven. Today is kind of a busy day i'm taking half a day off because i have to go get chase vaccinated it's due for his annual vaccine so i have to bring him to get vaccinated my little baby my mom is always joking because i call him my son she's like i'm not a dog and you're not a dog that's not your son but that's legit my son like i really take care of him every day i walk him every day i feed him every day twice a day i make sure he gets his vaccines i make sure he gets his haircuts I take really good care of my baby. When I go somewhere, I need to account for who's gonna be his caretaker. All things that people do for their actual human kids. And no, I'm not comparing it to human kids because I know that having an actual baby is a lot, but yeah, that's my pet son. But I'm gonna finish up work. I have another like hour or two left and then we're gonna head to Chase's appointment. No idea what I'm gonna do in terms of workouts today, but 
I have my water ready. I have not been drinking yet though. I'm probably gonna bring some with me on the road and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all, open the vlog and let y'all know what's up today. We're back from the vet and now I'm gonna head to the gym. I already did a walk We actually ended up walking to the train station and Got my walk in for the day. Not sure what I want to work out today I don't know if I want it to be a lower body day or an upper body day. I'm just gonna get to the gym and then decide there Shit just got real things are getting intense now I hear you talking about we a lot or you speak French now Giving me the sign, so I gotta take a hint now. I hit you up like, do you wanna hang right now? On the east side, and you know I'm with the gang right now. You say, do I wanna watch? Do I know what time it is right now? It's after 2 a.m. and that's asking a lot of you right now. All she talking about is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. Y'all don't ever come to me. All she hit me with is come and see me for once, come and see me for once, you don't ever come to me, you don't ever come to me, all she talking about is come and see me, come and see me, you don't ever come to me, come and see me, you don't ever come to me, come and see me, you don't ever come to me, come and see me for once, all she hit me with is come and see me, come and see me, you don't ever come to me, come and see me. back home from the gym i went with christine today and we did legs did the hack squat machine today for the first time and at first i was doing it wrong because i was facing like opposite the machine and i was just trying to decipher how the heck i was going to use it even the instructors were saying to face away from it then randomly i asked somebody at the gym like hey do you know how to do this and like they demonstrated on the machine how to do it and it was actually facing the opposite way and I am definitely adding the hack squat to my leg day routine. I felt a burn in my butt and I was like, wow, like no wonder people love this machine. I, I've always seen people do it at my gym, but like, I don't know. I always got so intimidated by it, but it's actually not bad, especially after I saw the demonstration. So adding that to the rotation. But anyways, y'all, I'm having some Granny Smith apples with that, um maple syrup butter i showed you all in my last video yeah that's what's up y'all i'm gonna shower and read my book and then i'm done with today <laughs> it's crazy right and i think that i think that the kicks for kamala were reacting to him like you said trevor the way that we react to him because no one has done that before he's been on stage with republicans and he's been on stage with democrats have y'all seen the debate from tuesday i haven't seen it but i'm listening to trevor noah's podcast it's called what now with trevor noah um and they're commenting about it it's actually hilarious even though i didn't watch it but i will watch it honestly y'all i've been taking a break from politics this year it's too much too overwhelming like too out of my control and i used to start my day every day listening to the new york times the daily podcast but i don't like starting my days with the news because like hearing about all the horrendous things going on in the world at the beginning of my day it's just not the smartest thing to do so i think i need to start just doing that again but towards the end of the day so that it doesn't like you know, ruin my day, I guess, in a way. But I was a political science major in my undergrad, and even my master's is like 
politics related i studied international relations so i'm like a politics girly but child 2024 and like the end of 2023 i was like i'm done with the news i'm done with politics i need a break let me know down below what podcast y'all listen to i like old old types like lifestyle informative ones i love health and wellness podcasts let me know if y'all know any like self-care podcasts the one I listen to constantly that's about wellness is called Mind Body Green and they always have experts that come on and talk about like anything and everything in the wellness fitness world. So if y'all have recommendations on podcasts, leave them down below. Anyways, y'all, I need to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner and then I'm going to style my hair. I think I want to do a braid out. Um, I have a lot of social events going on this weekend tomorrow janet is celebrating her birthday we're gonna go play laser tag and saturday melissa's having her birthday celebration like it's like a housewarming slash birthday celebration so i have a lot of stuff to do this weekend like socially and i'm gonna see if my hair will like stay cute if i do a braid out and like stay nice and semi-defined even if it's like a little frizz i don't mind some frizz but i don't want it to get crazy <laughs> actually sent this to me this is their dirty chai flavor they sent it to me so i can try it out the ingredients are organic roasted chicory root organic roasted carob organic roasted dandelion root organic ginger cinnamon maize ground vanilla beans and clove which sounds really really good the founders realized that their beloved morning coffee routine was causing health challenges so they made this coffee alternative for their bodies and for the planet i love that the ingredients are super natural and that this won't give you that like you know afternoon crash it's caffeine free plant-based all the good things i'm actually gonna make this in my french press just like i make my regular coffee this cute little tote also came in the package and it says spread kindness and then on the other side it says i love fojo go with the flow if you know me you know i love totes and canvas bags like this i'm like a canvas bag lady i have a whole drawer full of canvas bags and they also sent over a strainer and a small spoon to measure out the chai mm, it smells just like chai my plants always want to be in the frame moment of truth let's see how this tastes
that's really good it tastes just like chai like it tastes just like a chai latte that's really good it has all those like feel good warm spices that like we love especially in the fall so i feel like it's gonna be a perfect fall drink and like perfect for me in the mornings when i don't want to drink coffee first thing in the morning so yeah i'm a fan check out sip herbal down in my description box if you're interested what well, anything else we need to do that's um urgent um that's everything for now i just wanted to talk about those things but when is a good time for you to talk yeah, next week a few events for you to go to yeah uh, so the one you sent is everything is climate related all righty y'all i just finished a work call and now i have to bring chasey to his groomer because he needs a haircut he is like incredibly hairy so we're gonna get him groomed i actually have to bring his updated vaccine record because the manager at petco messaged me today she was like make sure to bring his updated vaccine records because the ones i have on file are expired i was like okay girl thanks for the reminder <laughs> since he got his vaccines yesterday he should be good to go so yeah let's go to petco Sad. Like, wait till I get home to tell y'all. I'm upset and sad at the same time. Don't mind my greasy face right now. I just finished walking four miles to Petco and back. So, let me make this story short. Basically, like y'all saw, I took Chase to the vet yesterday. He got all his vaccines except one because they ran out. Like, what kind of vet runs out of vaccines? Whatever. That's clearly out of my control. And I had to go back for his boosters anyway in three weeks. So they were like, we're going to do that one vaccine we didn't do today when you come back for the booster. So today I go to Petco thinking they're going to groom him. They didn't. That's why I'm sad and upset. Basically, they were like, oh, like, I don't see the Bordetella vaccine on his record and i'm like oh yeah like they ran out of that but i saw that on the petco website it just says the requirement is rabies then they're like oh yeah that's in every other state but new york like new york requires bordetella so i really like fucking rushed to go to petco and bring him to his appointment I made such an effort to freaking go there for no reason and that really freaking blew my like ugh apparently they're having some kind of like on the go clinic tomorrow there's like some kind of vet that goes there on saturday so she gave me like a vip express pass to just show up tomorrow and i'm just gonna do the vaccine with them because i don't want to wait three weeks for him to get groomed he looks like i don't like how he looks right now like the amount of hair he has is too much for my liking like this is the time when i need him groomed so she was trying to give me an appointment for like after he got the vaccine but i was like can I do the vaccine here or something? And then she gave me that option, but otherwise she was planning on me going back there in three weeks. And I was like, look at how he looks. Like he looks so hairy, like he needs a haircut. So basically she told me, go to the vet tomorrow, show this pass and they'll do the vaccine he's missing and then come back on Monday and get him groomed. So we're just gonna have to wait another three days for Chase to get groomed, but at least it's not three weeks. Anyways, it's not the end of the world. You're probably listening to me be upset and thinking like it's not that deep, but That really just ruined Like two hours of my day just now and I was in a great mood like it's Friday I'm supposed to be happy right now and everything is supposed to be working out like Why? Janet's birthday is on Monday, but we're celebrating today. We're doing laser tag in Brooklyn So I've actually never played laser tag, so I'm excited. I also don't know what to expect. Like, I know the concept of it, but yeah, I'm excited to do something for the first time. So I need to, like, have a woo-sa moment and just forget about it. There will be another day, and we're going to get this done. Just not today. It's okay. I guess on the bright side, I did both of my workouts, so that's good. I'm halfway done with my water. 
I just need to read my book. After I read my book and finish my water, I guess I've completed another day. That's another positive thing, like, but I really need to save myself. <laughs> I just took out my braids and it's literally flake central I don't know if y'all can see that but it's flaky AF flakes everywhere it's not even winter and I'm full of flakes why and it was actually a braid out with so much potential like the products I used gave me so much definition and by the way that mousse I use like best smelling hair product I've ever used in my life like it smells so good but I mixed it with something else and maybe I should have just done the mousse on its own because one thing about my hair is going to get flaky when there's like a mix of products that it doesn't like it doesn't even like any mix of products at all so I should have known to just <sighs> it's fine Anyways, I'm just gonna like spritz some water and try to get rid of the flakes. I just put it up with this um, claw clip and that's pretty much it. The braid out was so cute though, like the definition. I feel like I need to try that again with just the mousse and see what results I get because I was impressed with what I just saw. Even though like my hair wasn't even fully dry, it was like 90% dry, but it had such great potential. <laughs> But I'm kind of in a rush now. I don't even have my Apple Watch because it's charging. But yeah, I'm kind of in a rush. So I'm just going to shower and leave. See, like, why? You see how nicely it's like the front of my hair which is like really damaged and stuff i'm ready to go and i have to leave right, right now but i wanted to show you what i'm wearing before i head out i have on this black bodysuit which i haven't worn in a while but this used to be my uniform if you know you know i used to wear this all the time and i'm wearing these barrel jeans that i got on amazon i freaking love these jeans i saw that now h&m carries barrel jeans of course they ran out of my size and these nike sandals Went to the movies. Uh, I actually went on a solo date the other day. Aww. It was really, it was really fun. got back from petco i went in and we did chase's vaccine which wasn't even a vaccine it was oral it was oral bordetella so it was hella fast like we went in and out um so yeah yesterday i was making a big deal but it's because i got so frustrated that i put all that effort into going there for no reason to get him groomed only to be turned away but all this well <laughs> That's why sometimes you just need a moment to like cool off, you know? I went running with Christine this morning, like y'all saw. I didn't even say hello this morning. Wait, I haven't even caught you up from yesterday. I might catch you up in a few, but let me show you the crazy tan I got during my run with Christine. It's like 
a midriff tan and it looks so weird can y'all see that like my crop top ended here and then my leggings ended here and here too i don't know if y'all could tell the difference between here which is where my shorts ended and my low tan the sun is so aggressive like we have no idea how aggressive the sun can be that's why you gotta wear sunscreen y'all okay wear sunscreen i wore mad sunscreen on my face and i had my baseball cap on so my face was protected. I'm gonna catch you up about laser tag and stuff after I like take a shower because I'm sweaty. One of Melissa's housewarming gifts will be this golden pothos that I'm gonna make for her. Well, for the, her and Danny, even though Danny won't be watering these plants, so for her. <laughs> I have these cuttings that have really long roots, so I'm just gonna do these. <laughs> I'm all ready to go to Melissa's house. This is how much water I have left. This is my outfit. I'm wearing this skirt, this top from H&M, and my Adidas shoes. You hear him hopping and hopping? <laughs> Literally. He's like, you can't catch me. You can't catch me. I love how he makes his tight turns. Yeah, just so you can go back to him close yeah. eventually. Ooh. super dark again happy sunday we haven't caught up since literally friday so friday was laser tag it was so much fun it was my first time ever playing laser tag and i had a blast like that place we went to had like a really legit laser tag place like it was big and we definitely nurtured our inner child i had a lot of fun then saturday was the housewarming and i got home super late i got home at like 2 a.m i tried editing and finishing the vlog yesterday so i could chill today sunday but um yeah sleep won so i ended up falling asleep woke up early and spent all day finishing the vlog up until like 5 p.m then i went to target <laughs> to get my groceries i walked there and now i'm walking back home with my groceries and this is heavy af i don't know who told me to do this but at least by the end of this i'll be done with both of my workouts but yeah y'all that's what i've been up to so for protein this week i'm gonna be having this steak i usually don't cook steak so i don't know what i'm doing with this i have to find a recipe chicken breast uh, scallion cucumber potatoes these apple pears some popcorners these rice cakes which are made with um brown rice so i'm gonna have this like in the morning with some like almond butter maybe some honey it's like a great pre-workout snack and then these are not grocery related items but i got some more decor for the fall so i can like decorate my apartment and i got this candle that smells really good all the other candles were smelling horrible there not horrible but they just didn't have like a smell but this one was the one that caught my eye and then i got these little tea lights which smell really good happy monday and happy day 47 i'm working from home but it's my lunch break so i'm actually about to hit the road but we haven't caught up in so long because this weekend was so hectic like it was overwhelming to do like all of my 75 hard tasks and do all these social events i went to luckily i still got everything done still drank my water with my book did my workouts took my pics so proud of myself but that was a lot like usually i'm not i don't have like back-to-back -back social events on weekends so 
Like, it's not an issue to get my ish done for the challenge, but it was hard this weekend. Um, anyways, y'all, I am bringing Chase to get groomed. Today is part two of me bringing Chase to get groomed. So we're about to go to Petco. I'm actually on my lunch break right now, so I'm gonna bring him and then head to a coffee shop when I drop him off because they usually take a while with him. They take like three hours sometimes. So yeah, that's what's up, y'all. We're actually gonna walk to the groomer, so my first workout will be a walk. Happy day 47, y'all. We're crushing it, almost there. I wonder if any of you are like actually doing this with me. Can you comment down below like if you started this challenge? I wanna know like who is doing it. <laughs> dinner i made the most delicious stir fry but this week's meal prep is going to be a little bit different because it's not going to be included in this video i'm actually making a separate video y'all are going to see that probably after this one i filmed a what i eat in a day while i'm doing 75 hard so yeah i'm actually very proud of all the recipes i made and i tried new things that were bomb and are gonna be added to the rotation of meals for sure so make sure to stay tuned for that video today was a long day it was the most monday monday ever i got a lot done though it was productive now i just need to take a shower read my book finish this little bit of water and get ready to do it all again tomorrow i have meetings super early tomorrow so i actually need to go to sleep at a reasonable time so i'm gonna go read also, y'all, I forgot to tell you that poor Chasey lost two pounds during 75 hard. <laughs> when I took him to the vet, last time he got weighed, he was 12 pounds. So I was telling her like, oh yeah, he's 12 pounds. Then we weighed him there and he's 10 pounds. So she was like, is he eating okay? I was like, what? He's eating very well. I don't have a picky dog whatsoever. He will eat anything and everything. I've been taking him out on every single outdoor workout that I do. So like runs and walks, he comes with me. So he definitely lost some weight. But now I don't feel too bad when like I leave him at home and I go on my own for runs and walks because I don't need him to lose any more weight than that. But I just noticed today after his haircut that he's like way slimmer than before. Like he was a little chunky butt before, but now he's like losing weight. When my mom sees him and my grandma, they're gonna be like, stop underfeeding him. Even when we go to my mom's, and she sees how much food I give him for dinner. She's like, that's not enough. I'm like, girl, that is more than enough because it's what's recommended for his weight and age in the back of the food packaging. So, but you know how Caribbean parents are with food. They're something else. <laughs> why did she just do that anyways it's 5 47 i've been working from home all day so i haven't been able to do much only thing i've kept up with is my water i don't play with the water because i learned my lesson from one time i started drinking my water super late at like 3 p.m and 
it's because I was editing. I had not drunk my water. I had not done any workouts. But the workouts, like, they're manageable to do, even if I have to do it at, like, 10 p.m. But if you don't start drinking water early, you're setting yourself up for failure. Like, you have to drink the water as soon as you get up. I learned that early on in the challenge to stay on top of my water intake. Um... Chase is like so soft and fluffy and he smells so good. I can't get enough of him. <laughs> Chase is paying me zero mind. Anyways, y'all, I don't know what I want to do today for my workouts. Just closed my computer for the day. I've had meetings since very early today. Like my first meeting today was at 9 a.m. As you can see, we decided to go on a walk for our first workout of the day. The outdoor one, that is. tomorrow i feel like it's just gonna be like up from there i keep saying that time is flying and i'm really not exaggerating at this point in the challenge everything feels like second nature you know like everything 75 hard related is just ingrained into my everyday life so it's coming more and more natural to me every day so i'm loving that i woke up at 5 a.m and i actually woke up so i could go pee and then after that i just couldn't go back to sleep so i stayed up and edited it edited it <laughs> i stayed up and edited for like two hours and then i had like a really slow beautiful morning routine <laughs> y'all i just said the vibe for my home workout because i need it i need to feel like i'm doing a workout class i need to feel like i'm in a workout studio i'm doing a kettlebell workout with heather robertson i'll link it down below for y'all i've done it before and i remember that i loved it so much back when i used to do it <laughs>
have officially finished week seven. OMG, I'm entering my eighth week today. How exciting. Make sure to stay tuned also for next week's video where I will give you another update as to all the great things that I'm noticing in my body while doing this challenge. I just got ready to go to the office, which you will see that in next week's vlog, but I have a very early coffee meeting, so I have to head out now. But I wanted to close out the vlog first. Comment a weightlifting emoji or a strong emoji if you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.